What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4, and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. If you guys saw my last live stream, I pretty much made it to round 31st and died. I don't know how I died still. I'm very confused about it because we were trying to exfil and I was calling in my chopper gunner, and all of a sudden the cutscene played where the chopper just falls down to the floor and ends the game. And I'm like, what the hell just happened? And I re I rewatched that video, I rewatched that part of the stream, and it doesn't show where anybody went down at all. So I'm confused how to exfil in this mode, but so far, I had fun in the mode. <laughs> I really did. So um, I'm gonna do like a quick review. I think the mode is trying to please everybody. <laughs> to be honest, from what I see right now, it's trying to please everybody. Because I played this mode since World at War. I might have not played the multiplayer in World at War, but I played the zombies mode. And I'm telling you, they're trying to please everybody. Because, you know, people dislike the open world from Modern Warfare 3, so they want to keep it. But, you know what? Let's turn it into round zombies. So, that's what they were trying to do. This map that I'm playing right now is semi-open world. You can still unlock doors. You can still do Easter eggs. You can still craft. I mean, the perks are all there. There's like secret items everywhere. Um, there's crazy Easter eggs. I mean, the only Easter egg that I know so far is the bowling alley Easter egg, which you can actually shoot like five pairs of shoes and you can do like the, the bowling alley Easter egg. So it's a piece for everybody to be honest but i understand all the anger that's coming from some of these zombies players where uh from what i read on twitter from what i've seen on tiktok people want the old school zombies where you have to board up the windows unlock the doors and pretty much run a circle uh pretty much have a small building and that's how you play zombies you know that's that's how you used to play black ops 1 and black ops 2 and world at war you know everything was pretty small and uh, very convoluted like the hallways were tight and it was a challenge because you can only go down within two hits it was freaking hard man i think the furthest i ever made it solo was round 13 and the furthest i ever done it online was round 28 so yeah it was very challenging but you play it nowadays i mean you have body armor you have kill streaks you can even call in a chopper gunner and you'll see it right now in this gameplay in the background and it's pretty fun to be honest it's a great innovation to be honest but I understand where the hate is coming from you know people want the old school map so I think what they should do in the future in the future updates for Call of Duty Zombies so people cannot be felt left out um, do it old school just get one building a warehouse or something a big ass tall building like Mirage you know and just make us round base zombies out of that pretty simple stuff right just like cold war they had an open world and then they had the realm based zombies and then there was another one where you can do magic on like it's kind of weird that's when it got too complex to be honest that's why i didn't play zombies as much in black ops 3 nor in black ops 4 because it got too complex like it was bad i don't know i didn't like those two zombie modes to be honest but the old school ones like black ops 1 black ops 2 and world at war were probably the best ones for me i enjoyed it a lot but i see that they were trying to innovate man I think the, the gamers, the, I think the community should let it innovate, make, make it become better. But of course, you know, it's semi open world and people do not like it. But yeah, in my opinion, I enjoyed it. I really did. And do I recommend buying Call of Duty Black Ops 6 just for the zombies mode? I think you should, guys should give it a month or two before buying it so you can have a special. Because, you know, when Black Friday comes around or Christmas comes around, there's going to be a 20% discount. So instead of buying the Volt Edition for like 100 bucks, you'll buy it for $80. Or if you want to buy the Standard Edition, you'll probably buy it for like 50 bucks. So wait till the holidays, boys, all right? You don't have to buy it right now. I don't recommend the stay that it's in. I mean, yeah, the mode is complete right now, but I think they're going to be adding a lot more events along the way. Hopefully, if they don't, then... I guess sue me i don't know <laughs> i only give you a dollar back or something and a bag of chips probably gonna owe you guys doritos or something <laughs> but um but anyway see i'm hoping it gets better though i'm hoping they make a piece for everybody in the future so that everybody can be happy i don't want to just like have it one side and be like yeah this should only have open world like nah man i'm not like that you know i think everybody should be included and you know so everybody won't be pissed off or semi pissed off at an old school one you know, it, this game mode has a chance to really recuperate on that type of fan base. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much my quick review. I think this mode is actually pretty fun to me, and I enjoyed it. It still had the same, you know, sweetness to it that, that I used to have back in the day. And of course, with a little bit of a mix of the old school Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3 gobblegum. I mean, 
no complaints for me to be honest it's still zombies to me so anyways so that is it guys that's all i wanted to do it's a very short video quick review uh if you guys have your own opinions about it leave it in the comment section let me know i'll read them later and i'll uh, post it up on my next video for sure so that is it guys leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up and i'll see you guys on the next one